to retrofitter hum not a very aggro-y pack well sneak attack the sword that makes the most like retrofitter foundry card here thopter foundry is actually just sweet with retrofitter even though you don't have the sword if you have thopter foundry because every artifact you can sack you can turn into a four form i kind of want to sneak though Correct, Doug Twitch chat. Pretty dead either direction. I am Ezreal, thank you. Real pleasant evening. If I taken that Sword of the Mink, I'd be on the Gadgeteer now. Because I took this Sneak Attack, I might still take the Gadgeteer. They're not really Sneak Attack cards, right? I'm not like locked into Sneak Attack just because I took it. Man, I need some water. I do have gin here. Gin's kind of like water, right? I'm still in an academy deck. No, I'm not. I don't, I don't have one of those cards yet. Well, there's something we're sneaking in, huh? World Spine Worm could let us play Flash too. Or the Natural Order Wheels. Maybe we uh, shift focus. Hell yeah, Lumbering Falls. I agree, Turtle is the truth. Yeah, World Spine Worm and... Um, oh shit, Torsten's good with Flash too. And also good with Sneak. It kind of does the, like, the Grizzle Brand or a Traxa thing where you just like find the next thing to sneak into play and get to like sneak multiple things. Love it. The Gadgeteer deck would be looking very different, right? We'd be grabbing like Mox Opals and stuff. Different emphasis. What about Enlightened Tutor to find Sing Attack more often? Woodfall Primus is good, but it's not as good as the cards that I already have. What turtle is this? The um, the one that gets a 1-1 one -one counter whenever you have an artifact coming to play and it's unblockable and has Ward 4. Sorry, I'm not great with card names. That turtle do slap. There's a chance I play Zerda, hum. Huh. Is that Shinobi for the last dip we did? Unfortunate. Sort of me came back. Is that interesting? Maybe with the E tutor. See, escape level is kind of good with sneak. Huh. GG Uptain, sick match. Yeah, I was also playing like a Skull Clamp, Bitter Blossom deck. <laughs> I just kind of like got drawn out, or outdrawn rather. Your deck was sweet. Applied good pressure while drawing a bunch of cards. Yeah, Bowmaster is sweet. We're gonna take an off-color Mox here. Maybe I am a Gadgeteer to come. Hell yeah, Obtain. Yeah, the Emerald just makes the Mox Opal look a lot better, and we already have some other early game artifact stuff, and there's Academy. Maybe I am still an Academy deck. Manifold Key would give me another early game artifact. Is the Delta interesting? I don't think so. Maybe the garden gives me a mountain plains for the E-Tutor splash. Key untapping Candelabra, untapping Academy. Could be a lot of mana. Key's kind of cool with Retrofitter, too. Zerd is kind of good with Retrofitter. I think I dig the Talisman. I dig the Preordain, too. I don't think I'm Okoing. Narset's interesting. Another card they could find. Sneak attack. If I actually had the flash, I'd be interested in Astral Dragon. Let's just take Battlesphere, huh? 
Battle Sphere is like not the worst card ever with Sneak, and then it's pretty good with the Tularean Academy. Not really my pack. Basalt Monolith does work with both our threes, yeah. Another dually here. I really need water. I might just like grab a card and then fucking run. Like reserve a card. And that makes more sense than just like being thirsty and having a rough time commentating. Mana's starting to come together. We got Chromatic Star. The Mox Opal's on. Our mana's just great, right? A couple dual lands. Talisman, Tillerian Academy, naturally producing blue for the Gadgeteer. I'm trying to think if there's a world I want this LED. Maybe with that Echo I just passed, huh? Oh, right, I was going to reserve. All right, BRB. Yeah. Oh. Ah. So Walking Bliss is a pretty nice sync for um for infinite, huh? Infinite mana. The Train Dynamo is not bad, but it's just like the cards that we had and just like gets us there. And it's a tempting card there too. A deserted, what did you just call me? A little cyborg damn action, maybe. A little Wrath of Gun action. Yeah, I usually take longer breaks for water. Because I'm usually doing like multiple things, like going to the bathroom or making tea or something. And then I usually go upstairs where I have filtered water. This is just unfiltered tap water. The worst. If you're thirsty enough, it doesn't matter though, huh? Oh, this could be a sick balance deck. Those are some really cool duels too. Or sword supply shares. I think I think I want this balance though. I think this is gonna be pretty good. We have a bunch of trash we can run out, right? Oh, come on, Mark. Come on, Main. <sighs> Gonna just say nay to that one. Hey, big skill. Thanks for the 60 months. The big 6 0. -um. What do I draft here? Bloodstained Mire gets Jetmere's Garden, I guess. Somehow I have a sneak attack deck where the Fury doesn't look absolutely nutters. I don't love this Karn either. Like, somehow we're an artifact deck that doesn't love this Karn. How are we doing on playables? We're actually doing kind of okay on playables. Yeah, you could just take out of water rather than Mire. I dig this deck. Yeah, deck versus Palantir here is hard. Kind of a nutty Palantir deck, right? So much damage. There's some real cards. Don't really have the blue count for Force Negation. I guess I want Shorkai. Grim Monolith goes with Infant with Zerda. Not as good as Basalt Monolith, because I would go in with both, but it's still better than nothing. And we can E-Tutor for the Monolith. It's good. It's good stuff. Oh, I think I dig this Talisman a lot. The double on color Talisman is kind of perfect here. Kind of exactly what we needed. Our playable count's starting to look reasonable. Yeah, you can't sneak vehicles. They're not creatures in your hand. I think these are my worst two creatures, or well, worst two, two top end things. Oh, hey, there's the Flash I was talking about. Yeah, Flash still works well with Triple Titan, Torsten, World Spine Worm, Astral Dragon, and it can work well with Battlesphere if I have Academy and just want to juice up the Academy. It's like a really good Flash deck, I think. I don't think I want any of this. Crab's really awkward with balance. Oh, hey, the bulk wield. Do I want that over colonnade? I think I do. Top of Mystic Forge is kind of cute, but I don't think we need it. I think I like Batter Skull and the Cyborg. Iconoclast is kind of cool with top. I don't know. Maybe. 
I probably don't draft Iconoclast enough. I don't think this deck needs to mull that aggressively, Mana Works. We have a lot of like fil filtering effects, right? Dak, Palantir, Friends of Gadgeteer can be a draw engine, Shorakai, Karn. Emery works well with Chromatic Star and Walking Blista. I don't know if it works well with the rest of the deck. I might grab Teferi here. Just maybe wrong. Engineer can tutor up the Grim Monolith for Zerda. Kind of cute. Why no Golos? Because it's five fucking mana. It's, it's too much mana. Too much mana, not enough space. Just cut the stuff that makes balance look awkward. I do like third path with top though. Yeah, these years is great here, right? If we already have a solid top draw, I can just go get a Mox or whatever. But then it's also getting me Grim Monolith to combo with Zerda. Or getting me Sneak Attack for the top end. Speaking of which, I think I'm supposed to cut a top end card. I was not sure which one. Maybe Leveler, because Leveler is the worst with Flash. Level is a really satisfying card to cast off of uh, infinite mana, though. I mean, this is, like, pretty castable in general. You want to cut the Karn? We could. There's enough, like, other draw here between the deck and the Palantir and the Shorakai. Karn might be the worst card. Those down ticks, though, huh? Sometimes those down ticks just win. Torsten? Torsten is nuts with flash and sneak attack. You're leaving six, seven one ones be behind. While also, like, tutoring a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I think cutting Karn might be wrong, but I'm also fine with cutting it. I think it's supposed to be one of these top-end things. I think six is, like, one too many. But having more does make, you know, the chance that I've got the, the fast flash more consistent, I guess. And we can E-Tutor for Triplicate Titan. You could cut Battlesphere. Yeah. I have a soft spot for Battlesphere. I, I really like it with Academy. It's just, like, very castable. But you could cut it. What are our counts here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Creativity is blue red, right? And this is 10 red sources. It's more than we need. For blue, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then white is one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we need more white sources. Like two more. That'll put us to eight. Eight feels really good. What was right again? Like some stupid number. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And blue is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And white is eight. So it's ten, nine, eight currently. Oh, this is ten cards. Yeah, just got a mountain. Perfect. What does a Gadgeteer do? Uh, in this deck, it mostly just like spits out some clues. So uh, three mana for a two three makes your activated abilities cost one less. So it can't go infinite with Basalt Monolith, which we don't have. And then every time you cast an artifact, you get a clue. And then your clues are cracking for one because of its own ability, right? Palantir just usually works so well in Sneak Attack. It does cost one less. in the beach because it'll come into play on tapped next turn if I lead on the mountain here. This turn two is going to be fucking sick.
It does give them the stuff for Uro pretty cleanly, but whatever. They also lose two mana sources. Three for one. Yeah, it's also a three for one that like made them sack a land and a creature. Like it was a, they just got like small poxed, one sided small poxed. Pretty good card. I think on this next turn I'm gonna untap Grim Monolith and just cast Torsten, right? Which means I guess I could spin top on upkeep. I guess I play it, hum. I'm just hoping they can't disenchant it. Yes. One more guaranteed hit if we sneak this on upkeep. Of damage, right? Take up a card that Torsten. Oh, shoot up! Hey, natives, it's the 61 months. Yeah, quite the turn. Quite the turn indeed. I think my favorite part was upkeeping the Torsten because we knew there was a creature on top. A couple creatures. If we had more blue cards, I would like force negation for that Oko. But our blue count's real low, huh? I think too low. Just gonna be weak to that card. I know it doesn't look like we were weak to that card, but we kind of are. I could try playing Leyline Binding for it. I don't know what I would cut, though. It's like an E-Tutor target, right? The Binding. Not the worst. Should probably be in. Is Torsten better attra than Atraxa? No, but sometimes. Let's go to five. And this hand's very, very slow, but we can E-Tutor for sneak attack. So like, we have something going on, huh? Our best draw here would be Flash, so we could just turn to the the worm. Hopefully this Rip Fellows doesn't fuck me up too bad. Last time they discarded a prime time, so they might just turn three prime time me. Guess not. I think Lauren's a bummer. Maybe that damn should come in, hum. Seen a few mana dorks now. Well, we get to play the do they have an answer game once more. Seems like they're more likely to have an answer post board. But it also seems like this is my only chance of winning. That's 10 damage.
Note that Astral Dragon can't copy um, creatures. Yeah, so just blocking Torsten doesn't do it because it's still 19 coming in. Or do they have a bounce spell for me? Okay. Not a bad little board, huh? One needs like a people here, maybe. Cool. Yeah, I was worried that game. Uh, sure. So you tutor could get mana, but we might need to get a fatty to sneak attack in. Sure. Draw's not cooperating, hum. Mardu is awkward because white has disenchants, but black has discard. It's hard to know what I should be playing around. We have the Chromatic Star, so we could draw for our turn first. Oh man, Shorkai's in here. They have a board that can grind through a triplicate titan. I thought it was like slightly better than the the eight drops still though. Just kill the Umzawas, because then the robber's still smacking me, right? Maybe I should have been a defensive triplicate titan. Like sneak it in on their turn. Block the robber the rich with that. Maybe that'd be way better. Much worse against the sword splash shares though, right? Tempting to kill the, the non-robbers. If we trade, we just make them like, switch the equipment off, right? Sure thing, friend. Where's that Torsten card when you need it? World's Spine Worm would do the trick here, too. Yeah, 
Yeah, Shortcut might be one of my better draws. I almost wonder if I was supposed to get that instead of the Triplicate Titan. Look at that sweeper in the sideboard. That could come in. Come on, Torsten. Come on. Yeah, they just have lethal here. Pump figure and quip umzawas. Yeah, I mean them I would always always make them do it. They might want to do stuff to play around like a sneak attack activation, right? Oh my god, the literal next card. Oh my god, I was gonna find Dragon for that parallax. One card deeper. One card deeper would have been so insane. Fuck hum. Yeah, Dave's coming in. I've got that Astral Dragon. I don't think it's going to be that good to flash in here. Yeah, if I, I wonder if I had time to eat tutor for sure, Kai. I feel like I didn't. I felt like I was under a lot of pressure, there, but who knows? This is a spot where you wish you had like Black Lotus or Mana Crypt, Tom, huh? so the e tutor could find you. More mana than a single Mox. Almost interesting to tutor for Grim, but we don't have a ton of use for the, the infinite mana there. Do we just pass? I think so. Zerd is kind of bait. So there's a chance the Gadgeteer does more work this game. Do I just play the damn sneak? Nice. Oh, Moto's having a moment. Do they have a path for me? They do. Let's get a second white source, huh, for the sweeper in here. Points over there, just like, phew. Playing this land out so I can leave um, a red up when I activate Shorokai. Potentially activate Sneak this turn. I feel like there's a lot of things to sneak into play in this deck. And we are not seeing them. Went through 16 cards. Haven't found either of our sweepers either.
Yeah, so the reason they didn't hit the sneak attack is because we didn't, like, kill them with sneak attack the turn previous. So they know that I'm, like, top decking towards it. Meanwhile, the 2-3 was, like, breaking the robber and, like, slowing me down. Slowing them down. Nice. I don't know, Mark. I don't know if it would be playing too scared or not. Oh, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if that was the appropriate use of the Umazawa's there. Because my token was dying anyway. Just saying what the reasoning was. I don't know if it was right or not. They are ripping lethal here. The spirit tokens, the Misawa's pump. I don't want an upkeep stop. No, I want to activate Shurikai before I activate top. Get a little deeper. Before I spend all my mana. Time for Retrofitter to shine, hum. Yeah, my heart sunk when I looked at the top three and didn't see a creature to sneak in. But this sort of does something, hum. Can make some flyers. I wanted to use Academy before the Battlesphere died in turn. Get that one extra mana. So Giver of Runes, unlike, um, unlike Mother of Runes, can give pro colorless. But on board, that's only 5 damage, and I'm at 6. That actually makes the sword fall off, too. Oh, yeah, it's not even it's not even 5 damage, huh? Because they can't equip the Umazawas to it now, either. Very cool. Shame they didn't equip the Umazawas first. Yeah, right? Am I excited for Lillian at Modern Horizons 3? I don't know. I'm excited to draft Modern Horizons 3. I've liked both of the last Modern Horizons sets quite a bit. Am I supposed to make a 4-4 four -four here? I could make a 1-1 one -one to block. I, I think I'm trying to kill them, though, right? I guess they could have a burn spell for me. Just deciding whether the sack has to make a 4 4 or does like a servo to make a 1 1 flyer to jump. Let's do the jump thing. I think I like it slightly better. See six cards next turn for sneak attack. Yeah, I mean, we've seen the top three. We know it's top land land. So we draw with Shorakai and then top sees three fresh cards, which probably does find me a win, which is why I did this, but. Okay, now I'm glad I waited. If they do have a bolt in hand, then this was a very clever equip, because now I want to do the block sack thing.
Oh my god, <laughs> they did have it. Nice. Would I have hit is the question I'm curious about. I assume so. There's so many hits in the deck. Oh, it's not letting me see? Okay. Yeah, I think this wins, right? Like, just ballista. An all upside equip. Yeah, if your last card's bolt, it's a good equip. And then the activation with the creature and the... <laughs> Made it, like, pretty clear that they're capable of making that sort of mistake, too. The perfect middle ground to get me there. We could flash in this battle sphere. I think I like the turn two Palantir though. Still no academy. That's all right. I like being the leveler in case the haste comes up. I mean, I guess I could bin it with Shorkai too, but it doesn't matter that much. Could use an academy hum. I think letting me draw with a Palantir, so oh, there we go. Too bad the Astral Dragon tokens are summoning sick, right? Think about copying Candelabra and untapping Academy a bunch. Lovely, just lethal. Kill the Q beam. Eight trample. Looks pretty good, right? Looks like I could have played the gadgets here like I wanted. I thought about like E tutoring for sneak attack and doing something with that. And then using a clue to crack in. We don't quite have that that kind of mana though. Get serious sweet with Candelabra and Academy, both of those cards. Yeah, the Wrath definitely coming in again, hum, over... I don't know. Dragon again. Definitely seems, seems like my weakest thing. Man, I thought we had a lot of sick decks today. No trophies, though. Sometimes it'd just be like that. 
I dig it. I dig this open air hum. It has indeed been an excellent day of cube. Some really cool decks. Some sweet matches. Oh, shoot it up. Hey, Gim Gim Chan. Thanks for 84 months. 84 months and Vintage Cube still rocks. Hell yeah. Out of D getting their sick beats in. And this will give me a clue. Turning on the Mox Opal, fixing my mana and stuff. Weirdest looking block of all time. I mean, crack that clue, but we really want the cards stored in play. Now I have to decide whether I want to deck fade and loot before to see if I hit the land for balance. It's kind of bad if I whiff, right? I mean, balancing, balancing without the land drop is still good. Let's see, tutor him. Get either Shurikai or um or Mox here. I'm just a little bit worried about them disenchanting the talisman and leaving me short on mana. It's my issue with grabbing the short time. You like Palantir over the Gadgeteer the turn previous? Yeah, maybe. Sneak? Well, Sneak again has that issue of if they just blow up the talisman, I'm sitting here with two mana. It's the same argument as against Shorkai, right? If they blow a bubble, we have no red. I don't think that matters that much. Oh, you mean for sneak attack? Sure. But yeah, hitting Talisman also like turns it off, um, for the same reason. This is the Messenger soundtrack, yeah. Kind of a cool song. Ah, you thought the clue was a treasure? Yeah, it'd be a little bit different. Hmm. Pretty glad I tutored the Mox. Wow, they just snapped that off. Oh no, are they just gonna make it 2020? That'd be brutal. They just like crop rotation here. I also think they're gonna stop choosing Milm. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe I was supposed to keep the triple get Titan and try and cast it next turn. Have defense against future 2020s. No. Oh my god, <laughs> I guess it's not enough if they'd milled, right? No, it would have been exactly enough with the Ballista Pings. I thought they might have played around me getting a Swords to Plowshares and just like had me been there. Mm, might as well, huh? Hmm. I guess we want Leyline Binding for that. That shenanigans. Kind of ugly. 
Suit is good. I gotta cut something though. If we draw an artifact next turn, we can like turn three sneak plus act plus activate. Could be really cool. Yeah, sideboard's got a few good ones. I'm so tuckered out. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. I'll be taking that there, monarchy there. I'm not sure if I want to spin on upkeep. You see one card deeper after you draw. Alright, well now I'm not looking dead. Now I'm not trying to hit a fatty for sneak, so... I guess I should have spun... Look for Mox Opal, huh? Get actual Hellbent. We have a lot of shenanigans going on in the turn, huh? The Monarch Trigger and the Palantir. Do I like E-Tutor? What's E-Tutor getting Ballista? It's kind of real. If I spin the top on my upkeep, then instead of drawing the Volcanic Light Island, I would have drawn a Mox Opal. And then I would have played a Mox Opal and been Hellbent. Right, FPS. I'm talking about alternative lines. I wasn't sh sure if I should be spinning on upkeep or not. And whether like losing the Sneak Attack changed that. Sorry, that wasn't clear. I don't know if we would have seen the Mox Opal, because we drew the Valk, and then we drew Plains Light and Tutor. I think we would have seen these three cards if we'd spawn on upkeep. Do I want to upkeep E Tutor? I think I like drawing that Mox. I can bring back Leveler. It only deals them eight, though. Maybe that's enough. Like they're only at 11. Seat. Alrighty, folks. I think I'm done. I'm done for the night. Some really cool decks, really cool wins in there. There were a couple of decks that I thought had really good chances of trophying, but didn't end up getting there. But, I mean, that's Vintage Cube, right? Sometimes it just doesn't happen.